Hey YouTube, uh, another guy doing gun reviews on the internet. Um, I'm an avid hunter and uh, target shooter. Wanted to do a review primarily of uh, not actually the gun, but I figured I'd haul it all out. Um, but uh, something about for this gun. This gun, just a little bit about it. It's a Sako 30 odd six uh, Bavarian carbine. As you can see, it's a full wood stock. The stock runs from uh, top to bottom, uh, muzzle to butt all the way along here. Uh, it's kind of a unique gun that uh, I hadn't seen before till very recently. Uh, only ever seen these in Europe. First one I had seen here in Canada and decided to pick it up. Um, chambered in 30 odd six as I mentioned. It's um, sort of the do everything gun. What attracted me to it was the option for both a scope and uh, comes equipped with iron sights that are uh, set at the factory for you know, 100 meters. Um, so what I bought um, for this gun uh, was a sling. You might think, well, a sling, not very interesting. Um, but I've been looking around, looking around, and looking around, uh, and found the usual stuff in, in the, uh, in the uh, hunting stores like Cabela's and Bass Pro and uh, Sale here in Canada. It's another one. Nothing really caught my eye. Um, so some research online led me to andysleather.com, um, a small manufacturer down in the U.S. who uh, who does custom slings and custom leather work. Um, so this this uh, this sling is one and a quarter inches wide, so it's a little bit wider than than uh, what you find in, in most of the stores, uh, and it's a Rhodesian style sling. So what's meant by that is um, has this large loop at the front that uh, allows you to sit your elbow. Uh, in this space and and sort of brace the gun uh, with the sling and makes for a more stable shooting position and really it's the small things uh, that that add up um, with this uh, with this gear and what you'll notice that I'm focusing on is this buckle uh, that comes with the sling it's uh, it's got a bit of a curve to it and the, the edges are really soft um, so that when you are uh, bracing uh, within the sling, it's not pinching into your skin or, or uh, getting caught up in jackets and, and uh, shirts and that sort of thing. Um, it just makes for a, a nice experience. Sling is a little bit wider at one and a quarter inches, so uh, standard swivels uh, aren't going to work. The, what you would commonly get are one inch. Uh, though, you know, most, uh, most shops will have one and a quarter, you just have to look for them. Um, and you can order online, of course. Uh, great hardware that Andy supplies. Um, it's it's not plastic. Everything's metal. Uh, screws together. The sling screws together. Uh, it's metal on metal pieces right here. Uh, just a flathead screwdriver will put it together. Um, and it, uh, it it works quite nicely. Um, so we'll look a little bit more at the gun. I know a lot of guys will. Uh, be drawn to the Night Force scope on there and what it's all about. Uh, that was um, uh, a nice addition uh, to this rifle. It's um, Night Force SHV and it's a 3 to 10 by 42. So it's the Shooter Hunter Varmeter, uh, Varmeter um, with, an, with a more reticle, MAR reticle. It's uh, the non illuminated one. Um, I really don't have a use for the illuminated one and they didn't have it in stock at the time either. It comes with a couple of uh, rubberized scope covers. Um, I would like to get to the uh, screw-on variety or something that's a little bit more permanent that just flips up, but uh, these will do for now. Uh, reticle looks a little busy if you look at it online. Uh, you might be concerned um, that there's just too much going on in there. Um, I find it quite nice. It's uh, measured in uh, quarter MOA subtensions, uh, so you can, you know, measure things at distance and uh, um, if you're familiar, you know, with measuring an MOA, minutes of angle, uh, this, is, this is a nice way to do it. Um, if you're not familiar with MOA, it's uh, pretty easy to do. It's basically one inch at 100 yards or 100 meters. Uh, it varies, the, the measurement varies whether you're in yards or meters, but uh, uh, having the, the MOA uh, subtensions on the reticle, and when I say subtensions, I mean 
the lines, the vertical and horizontal lines uh, on the reticle. Uh, makes things quite nice. It has parallax adjustment, so you might be thinking, well, that's a tactical scope, that's not a hunting scope. Um, not the case. Very much a hunting scope. It's uh, Night Force makes uh, all variety and are uh, known for the military stuff uh, primarily, but I really don't need that, that level um, on a hunting rifle. It is nice to have, but uh, this is more than adequate um, and a uh, great piece of glass. I'd be hard pressed to go, go back to, you know, a Bushnell or, or something like that uh, after having looked through the Night Force. Um, the rifle itself, um, chambered in 30 odd six, mentioned that, it has a set trigger so you can uh, fire it as it uh, as it comes as you as you uh, work the action cock the action uh, you can fire it that way or you can and the rifle is unloaded um, right the classic sacco action is very very smooth and, and and sort of runs like glass um, but you can kick the uh, you can kick the trigger ahead and uh, and move it to the set position and it requires very little pressure to go off at that point. Um, so if you're, you know, at the range sighting in that sort of thing, that's a nice feature to have. A little closer look at the action here uh, on this Sacco. Um, so fairly smooth bolt. Um, it's not uh, tactical up or anything like that, but uh, for a hunting rifle, it's more than adequate. Uh, the one thing I will say, I'm not a fan of uh, when it comes to the Sacco rifles uh, are the way they mount uh, optics. Uh, if you were to go to the Sacco mounts, and I, I had a set, so I used them. They were, you know, they're not not cheap by any stretch. They're about 120, 130 dollars for a set of Sacco mounts. Uh, when comparatively, you can get a set of loop bolts for you know around 60 bucks. Uh, the thing with Sacco um, mounts, they're over engineered. Uh, beyond belief, they're multi-parted and, and require a number of different uh, screws to get them together. And of course, they've gone to Torx heads. Um, so take what you will from that. But I think they're, you know, they're just overcomplicated when you look at what else is on the market by companies like Alberta Tactical and in your manufacturing. Um, these are um, a little too fussy for my liking. Uh, but that's what you get. Um, Rifles made in Finland, and uh, I guess it's a bit more targeted towards the European market. Uh, the thing with them, uh, and why those uh, mounts, like from Near Manufacturing or Alberta Tactical or or any other um, um, of the uh, manufacturers that that are higher end than what you find in the regular gun shop, uh, why they don't work is they're they're meant for a Picatinny rail. Um, with the Sacco's, they have this tapered. Um, tapered base that uh, doesn't accept won't accept those cleanly um, so you're forced to go to loophole or uh, straight to Sacco and as I said I had the Sacco mounts so use those um, does have the iron sights I've shot it with iron sights it's quite nice uh, very simple you hold out to um, 100 and it's it's on at 100 it's you know you're hitting uh, point of aim point of impact kind of deal um, one nice feature, I'll just uh, pause the video and, and flip the gun over to show you something here. So looking at the underside of the gun, uh, the magazine release looks like any old magazine release. Um, and the story goes that the, uh, 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 the uh, president or uh, uh, one of the higher ups at Sacco was on a hunting trip and uh, dropped his magazine in the snow kind of deal uh, by catching the lever here on his jacket or a piece of clothing and lost the magazine, right? Uh, so naturally that wasn't, it wasn't uh, optimal. And, and on a Sacco rifle, if you, apologies for my finger there, um, if you come and just press the mag release, it won't come out. The trick to them is you need to press down and apply a little bit of force on the magazine and it moves maybe an eighth of an inch. Uh, you press down, Press the lever, and out comes your mag. Um, so really nice, high quality magazines. Um, shaking around here, it's all metal construction. It's not the, uh, you know, plastic, all stainless. Um, 
nice smooth action, uh, just very, very well built, uh, and, uh, you know, a pleasure to, to use. Um, so yeah, the downside of these, of course, um, with quality comes cost, and so a magazine uh, for one of these guns is about $100, $130. Uh, so it's not like you're gonna go in and spend 40 bucks at Canadian Tire and find one of these guys on the shelf. Uh, so that retention feature is quite nice that you're not uh, dropping a magazine in the snow or anything like that. <sighs> Just another look at the underside of the gun. Um, the Sacco logo there. Um, Nice little feature to finish the end cap of the gun, um, and uh, sling mounts. Um, that's really about it. Put the magazine back in, and you want to hear that positive click so that it's, uh, you know, it's not gonna pop out on you. Back again, and just one last thing before I close this video off. Uh, this is my first video review. It's being filmed on an iPhone six. Uh, so apologies if the uh, audio or um, video quality isn't the greatest, but uh, we're doing the best with the lighting we have. Uh, this European style stock, this humpback style stock on the Bavarian rifles, uh, quite nice. I like it a lot. I'm a right-handed shooter, uh, so it sets up nicely for me. It's got a little bit of a swell to it, you can see there in the wood. Um, makes shouldering the rifle quite nice and, and getting a, a, a nice clean cheek weld. Um, great for when you're hunting. Um, the length of this gun is, uh, I think, I believe it's a 20 inch barrel. It, it's quite short, right, compared to, um, you know, uh, the Remington 700 variety of rifle or something like that. Uh, but it's long enough to get the bullet spinning and um, uh, hitting consistently. Uh, it's no, you know, it's not a precision Ventress gun or anything of that variety, uh, but it's not meant to be. Um, it's uh, it's a hunting gun. It's a it's a nice quality hunting gun, but uh, uh, certainly not a you know a quarter minute quarter minute of angle tack driver that you're you're gonna sit behind at the range all day. Uh, this is meant to be carried a lot and, and shot a little. Um, but yeah, a uh, great review of a uncommon gun here in Canada. Um, hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, Hope to make more videos. Bye for now.